Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. As many of you know, for several years I've been promoting Denoise by Topaz Labs. I've often said it's the best noise reduction software I've ever used. The key part of that phrase is, though, I've ever used because I haven't used all the noise reduction software available. So there may be something better out there. I just haven't found it yet. Well, about a week ago, uh, somebody emailed me and they said that they use Noiseware by Imaginomic and they think it's better than Denoise. Uh, so they suggested I should try it out. So what I've done is I downloaded the fully working free trial of Noiseware. And in this video, we're going to compare Noiseware to Denoise AI. Denoise AI is the current version of Denoise. Now, I was hesitant to do this because two reasons. First of all, I've been using Denoise for some time, so I'm much more adept at using it. I've only been using Noiseware for a day. So I'm definitely not very adept at using Noiseware. So take that into consideration. Number two, uh, even though I'm trying to do this as unbiased as possible, uh, it's going to be difficult, probably at least subconsciously, because I am an affiliate for Topaz Labs. So if you use my link and discount code to buy uh, Denoise AI, I will make a commission on it. I am not an affiliate for Imaginomics, so I will not earn anything if you buy Noiseware. Either way, I'll have links to both in the description below this video. I encourage you, if you haven't used either, to try them out yourself, download the fully working free trials for both and see which one works best for you and let the chips fall where they may, as they say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this image. Now you can see I'm in Photoshop. So there's a difference between the two uh, right off the bat. Uh, Denoise works as a standalone app. It will read raw files, TIFFs, JPEGs, and so on. It also works as a plugin in Photoshop and Lightroom and some other apps as well. You may have saw a video I've done where I showed how to use Denoise AI as a Luminar 4 plugin. Uh, as far as I know, Noiseware only works as a Photoshop plugin. Now, if I'm not correct on that, uh, you could mention it in the comments and um, you know set it straight, set us straight. But I looked all over their website. It appears that it's only a Photoshop plugin. So that's why we have this image in Photoshop. This is a very high ISO image. It was shot at 12,800. And if I zoom in a little, I think you could see there's a lot of noise on this image. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background layer. And then I'm going to name this duplicate layer. We're going to name this one. Um, let's use do noiseware first. So we're going to do noiseware. So Noiseware is going to be on this layer. And then I'll, later on, I'll do another layer, and we're going to do Denoise on that layer. And then we could compare them against each other. So to invoke the plugin for Noiseware, uh, go up to Filter, down to Imaginomic, and over to Noiseware. Now, one thing I've noticed uh, about Noiseware is it's a lot faster than Denoise AI. Denoise is relatively slow, and it's really slow on this computer, this is a really old iMac, like 2013. So seven years old, and um, it's pretty slow. Um, Noiseware is really fast. So that's what Noiseware has going for it. Now I'm gonna reposition it uh, so we get the bird's face in there, in the beak. And you can see uh, that it added some noise reduction. Over on the left-hand side, there are presets, and it is at the default preset right now. And it reduced the noise. It didn't totally remove it. You can see there's still some noise in the background, still some noise on the bird itself. Now we click that little drop down, and you can see there's a lot of presets, landscapes, night scenes, different things. Now this specific image, if I just click on it, you'll see there's the before. It really doesn't have any color noise that I could see. So I don't think we have to concern ourselves with trying to remove any color noise. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to use this default preset, I'd probably go to noise level and take the color right down and not bother adding it because it's not needed. Noise reduction here, right down. So, um, it's, you know, that. And it's you can see it hasn't really changed because there really isn't any color noise on this image. But if we go to the drop down, what I like doing using presets for in any app is try to get me close. Use the preset to get me close and then 
adjust it from there. And I don't think I'd be any different with Noiseware if I used it every single day. Now, there's a lot of things here. There's stronger luminoids. This image does have a lot of luminoids, so luminance noise. So I'll go there, and you can see that, you know, well, it did all right. There's still noise there, but did all right. Now if we go, there's a stronger color noise. This doesn't. How about full noise reduction? Let's try that. All right, it got rid of all the noise in the background, but there's a lot of um, artifacts at the edge of the bird's beak right here. Hopefully you could see that in the video. It also softened the image quite a bit. If I do before and after, you can see the feathers got really smoothed out. They almost look blurry, like I didn't focus well enough on it. So I think to get close, I probably prefer the stronger luminoise uh, preset a little bit. There is one full stronger luminoise. Let's try that and see what that does. All right, that one is pretty similar to the other one that was this, the full uh, noise reduction in that it got rid of all the noise in the background, pretty much all the noise, but there's artifacts on the edge of the beak and it softened the feathers a lot. So um, then there's that um, full stronger noise. See, that's pretty similar. So I think to start out with, let's try this uh, stronger Luma noise. And then I'm gonna take color all the way down and color all the way down. Now here's another attribute to uh, Noiseware. There's a lot more control. There's a lot more controls in general. You could see that we have a lot more sliders. Uh, there's uh, this detail tab, a frequency tab. We could try to get rid of noise by specific frequency. For example, high frequency noise. If I take that down all the way, you could see there's a lot there. So we could try to inch that up to try to get rid of more of that high frequency noise. Mid frequency noise, if I take that all the way down, you could see there's a lot there. So we could try to inch that up higher to try to get rid of more of that. Low frequency noise, you could see there's a lot there as well. This is a very high ISO image again. So um, I could like move these around very low. There's some very low. And try to move those. But you know what? I'm not really improving it moving those and this is where my inexperience probably comes in. Now we also have this um, noise reduction and with that preset it put all those at 100%. So I'll leave those there because we still have some noise. We also have tone, tonal and color range. Uh, first of all as far as the tones you could get rid of noise just in the shadows, midtones or highlights or at least independently of one another. And since this is more midtones let's try that and see. Eh, it's not doing much there. Let's try shadows. Not doing much there. How about highlight? And ne none of those affected this image much. Now you could do a specific colors. Uh, this is probably dominated by reds, yellows, and greens. Come in there and just crank them up and see if they do anything. And I'm not getting them to do anything really at all uh, here. Uh, how about neutrals? There's really nothing there. Okay, so none of that is helping me uh, really, we'll just go back to detail tab uh, temporarily. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add more luminance noise reduction just to see if I could get rid of more of this noise. And up here a little bit, starting to introduce some artifacts. Um, I'll back that off. And I'll come to detail protection, Put that up a little bit. Now we're starting to get a lot of artifacts with that. So I'm going to take that down, take that down. Let's go to sharpening. Just try to get some of that detail back in the feathers. Add some contrast. Add a little bit noise, more noise reduction. See what we could do. That's probably about as good as I could get it with my limited experience with this application. So um, that's I'm going to leave it at that and click OK. And you can see it's very fast. Uh, those of you that use Denoise know it isn't that fast. So let's zoom in, uh, Command Plus a couple times. Hold the space bar in and drag down. All right, there's our noise reduced image and there is the before image. Noise reduced before. So you can see it did a good job. There's a lot of noise uh, gone in this image. Now we'll zoom back out. Now I have that layer turned off. So the noise where layer is off, we'll go back on our noisy background layer and I'm going to duplicate that. And this is going to be the denoise layer. So we're going to do denoise on this. All right. And to do denoise again, we're going to go up to filter, 
uh, Topaz Labs Denoise AI, and it will now bring this image over into Denoise AI. Now, I have my Denoise set up so it doesn't do anything because, again, uh, this is an older computer, partly, but mostly Denoise AI is a lot slower than, um, than Noiseware. So every time you like move the image around, it has to uh, reassess the image and it takes a lot of time. So I kind of just keep it off till I'm ready. Now what we're going to do here is there's a lot less control here compared to Noiseware as well. But I'm just going to do auto. All right. So it comes up with an auto setting. It hasn't done anything yet because I have auto update preview off. All right. So we're just going to do auto settings and see what it does. And this is what I typically do. I'll click update and you can see this is what I'm talking about. It takes a while to generate the preview. But typically what I do when I bring an image into Denoise is I'll turn on auto, do an update, see what it looks like, and then adjust it from there. Um, because it's kind of like doing a preset in a way. You're adding a preset and then adjust to get you close and then adjusting it from there. With Denoise, there's no preset. I just do auto to see how close I am. Then if needed, adjust it from there. Now, right off the bat, it did a pretty good job. Uh, noise in the background's totally gone. There's a little bit of noise in the feathers in here. Just a little bit. It looks like there's some noise in the eye still. Um, but overall, there's before. If I click down, there's after. Before, after. I, I'm just going to call it a day. All right, I'm going to click apply. And now again, uh, don't mean to belabor it, but Denoise is slow. So it's going to process the entire image. So it has to process every pixel. This is going to take a while. So what we'll do is we'll fast forward the video to the point where it's around 96, 97, 95%, somewhere in there. Uh, so that you can see I didn't do anything fishy. I didn't readjust sliders on the right or do anything other than full auto. I just tried to be as on board as possible and level as possible. So we'll fast forward and you'll see it in a moment. Okay, we're back. It's around 95, 96%. So it's finishing up in Denoise AI. And once it's 100%, it's going to open up this layer back up into Photoshop with the Denoise noise reduction on it. So um, again, if we look at our layer stack, the background layer is the image with all the noise completely. The layer on top of it is the denoise layer. So this is the image with denoise added to it. And then the top one is the noiseware layer. Uh, so that one, when I turn it on, you could see the difference maybe. But what we'll do is we'll zoom in. What I'll do is I'm going to keep them all off for a minute. All right, we're going to zoom in. I'll hit uh, Command Plus a couple times. Hold the space bar in, reposition it like I had it in the other two apps. So we're seeing this is the image with all the noise. There is Denoise. All right. So you can see it did a really good job, in my opinion. It got rid of all the noise. It didn't obliterate too much detail. There is still a tiny bit of noise, as I mentioned here, a little bit in the eye. Uh, then we'll go up to Noiseware, and we'll turn on that. Here's Noiseware. Okay, Noiseware. There's still a little noise. There's artifacting around the edges of the beak. Uh, the feathers seem a little smoother. So there's Noiseware. There's Denoise. Noiseware, Denoise. You can see, look right in here. Noiseware, Denoise. Now again, I'm not as good at using Noiseware. If I would have stayed there a little bit longer, I probably would have done a lot better than that. All right, so keep that into consideration. Let's go over here. There's Noiseware. There's Denoise. Noiseware, Denoise. Noiseware, Denoise. And there, for reference, is the original image. Original image, Denoise, Noiseware. All right, so um, what I encourage you to do is in the description below this video, I'll have links to both applications. Now, again, the links I have for Topaz Labs are my affiliate links, all right? Just to be, you know, honest about it. Um, check them out. They both have fully working free trials. See which one works best for you. I had mentioned two factors why I was a little hesitant to do this. 
The first was, again, that I'm much better at using denoise than I am at using noiseware because I've used denoise for quite a while. Uh, the second thing is I have that bias because I am an affiliate for Topaz Labs. But I thought of a third thing. Um, it is possible that one of these apps is better at specific noise than another app, the other app. Meaning, uh, maybe with a specific camera at ISO 800, uh, Noiseware is better than Denoise. I don't know. It's possible. That's why you should uh, download both and see which one works best for you. Now, let's just be positive here. Noiseware, uh, positive things about it is it's really fast and there's a lot of options there for you to remove noise. Denoise, positive. It works not only as a standalone app, but several. it works as a plugin in several different applications. And in my opinion, it's easier to use. So just dwelling on positives, those are the positives for each. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.